They went to sea in a ship they did, where the kids they fled to sea. Inspired by all that their friends had say at the crack of dawn on a stormy day where the kids they fled to sea. They saved for mums a thousand pounds and a couple pulled out and a few were drowned. But the rest called aloud, we had no choice. Oppression has taken our rights and our voice and our government's all talking spin. Far and few, far and few were the lands where the refugees live. The things they've seen and the things they knew meant they went to sea just to live. Now they went across seas in a truck they did, in a truck that drove so fast. With only a couple survivors' tales, the blindest faith and the memory of wailing mothers whose sons didn't last. And they spent their nights in monoxide haze, and each of them thought, how many more days, though I feel so rough and this voyage be long, I hope that my dad was not rash nor wrong, though he cried all the way in the car. Far and few, far and few were the lands where the refugees live. Queasy green and their hands cold blue, because they went to sea just to live. Now the memories of slaughter bore deep in, the slaughters bore deep in. So to keep themselves sane, they sang and drank, in between borders of distant lands, and they shiver from more than the cold. All nights and days became as one, with thoughts of home and days of fun, before the storm, before the gun, before the last hug from their mum in the shade of the mountains old. Far and few. Far and few are the lands where the refugees live. They head for green and pastures new, and they went to sea just to live. Now they went to the western seas, of course, to a land that was famed for its riches. And they worked long days for very low pay, and when certain people come, they had to hide away from their lives of dishes and sieves. No employee rights, though, most didn't need them. See, working your ass off to some people's freedom. And after a meal and a shave of a razor, the rest gets wrapped in a pinky paper and sent in a package back home. Far and few. Far and few are the lands where the refugees live. Now their beds are clean and their shoes are new and they feel like they're starting to live. And in 20 years, they might go back. In 20 years or more. It all depends on how they've grown in a land without family away from their home and the state of the homeland too. Though most won't go back if they've built up a life with a job and some kids, a house and a wife. They'll live as your neighbour, moan about rain, the queues for the doctor, the price of the train and the bloody immigrants too. It's true. Far and few. Far and few are the lands where the refugees live. They're just like me and they're just like you and they have the same rights to live.